As the chaotic swirling energy subsided, a heavy silence settled over the battlefields of Ire. Due to Tassadar's noble sacrifice, the Overmind was now dead and the Zerg swarms were scattered and broken. But as the heroes survived their once glorious homeland, they realized that their victory had cost them all but their lives. Ire was left nothing more than a smoldering ruin. Those few protests who survived the final battle could only wonder what the future would hold for their race. Far away on the distant planet Char, Kerrigan, the self-styled Queen of Blades, knew that the time of her ascension was at hand. And with that, we finished the initial campaign of StarCraft. I forgot to show you that block originally. Anyway, um, the first campaign is the Protoss one, but there's an intro cinematic. Gerard, I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your vodka can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about this, Sir Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred... You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing. Unleashing them on men is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes. Yes, I am prepared to go all the way, my good Admiral. Good. Good, I knew I could count on you. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? Take us into orbit, Mr. Malmsteen. We've seen enough.
And that's the United Earth Directorate showing their faces in the intro cinematic. Though we won't see them until the Terran campaign we play that. For now though, we've got the Protoss campaign to play through. Oh boy. This is much more difficult. The nefarious Zerg Overmind has been destroyed in the Protoss homeworld. I are now lies in smoking ruin. As the executor of the remaining Protoss forces, you must now attempt to reunite your beleaguered people and save them from the ravenous Zerg who still roam mindlessly across the blackened fields of Iyer. Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zergs still rage across our ruined homeworld. Without the Conclave to lead us, or the protection of our great fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. Eldaris is correct, Executor. As we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt their rampage until every last one of us is dead. I suggest that we retreat to our last functional warp gate, and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Ayr is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your conclave did. They are dead now, Eldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakuras, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Eldaris. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find us passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Executor, I am Artanis. Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Hey boys, mind if we tag along? I figure heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Reno, as ever, your assistance is appreciated. We would be honored if you joined us. All right, uh, Blizzard Dreadcon. This, by the way, that Artanus was the one in charge of all of this. That he was basically the executor. Anyway. Will be done. So Iyer. It will be done. So destroy these Midas canals so as to stem the flow of Zerg reinforcements through them. You address me, Antaro Adun. I do this for Iyer. Your orders, Templar. If I do this for Iron, it will be done. And Taro Adun. Hmm? So be it. I do this for Iron. So be it. This place is overrun. Well, I guess that explains why the. Oh, he's probably going to die. No! Yeah, this is what I get, pretty much. <laughs> 
Eh, det är stort. There's no one, by the way, that's commanding these Zerg. They're just swarming over the planet. The Protoss rise to fight them. Oh, Aldaris, you have been cowed like a little bitch, by the way. There are some units you can gain, not the whole lot, though. Zeratul, as always, is a great base destroyer. You address me. I do this for Your brethren, Zeratul? How long ago were these guys your hated enemy? Just saying. Quite a reversal of opinion, isn't it? <laughs> Things change. Or do they? It's desperation that drives them. They're all very fucking desperate. Right about now. This is all that remains of our forces in this province. We have found the location of the warp gate, but there is a sizable Zerg force blocking the way. Shall 
be done. Your orders, Templar. So be Almost there. Not quite, but almost. Evacuate the Kali survivors before the Zerg return. You have to worry about getting your people through the gate, Executor. Phoenix and I will hang back and protect our flank until everyone is through. <laughs> Well, I did defeat them, the Zerg wave. Not, didn't kill all of them, but most of them were killed. Alright, that is about it. Costine here on Serious Gaming, signing out.